Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 5. We have no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. After trying so hard to get this room to have some light, we're ready to roll. So let's get into the video. If you're new, my name is Vanessa, Nessa, Sessa, Yaya, V. I don't know why I'm doing the shoulder shrug. All of the above, depending who you are. And today, Vlogmas video is going to be me talking about leggings. Leggings I've thrifted from Play-Doh's closet. Everything in this video is from Plato's closet. Every single thing. Now, if you guys never heard of Plato's closet, Plato's closet is a thrift store that are a bit more picky. They're a bit more extra than most thrift store. Extra in the sense that when they buy stuff from consumers and you could drop off your stuff, they look through it. If it's something that's trendy, in a good condition, they put it in a computer, the computer generates a price. They tell you how much they're gonna be paying you for everything you brought in. You take it or you leave it, and that's how it works. So generally, the stuff you see at Plato's Closet are in pretty good condition compared to some thrift stores that um, it's kind of like hitting treasures. At some thrift store. I don't know why I was going with that. But anyways. So yeah. So I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of workout leggings that I've thrifted over a few months now. That I genuinely love and I wear to work out in. So let's jump into the video. The first workout leggings that I want to talk to you guys about that I love are these Gymshark leggings. They're pretty self-explanatory. I don't know if. I don't know what type of Gymshark leggings these are. They're Vital something. They're probably not the Vital Seamless. I think the Vital Seamless is the one that have the holes on the side. If you know Gymshark and you've been on their website, you know Gymshark is mad expensive. So when I found these at Plato's Closet, I was really excited. They're a size small. Um, yeah, I don't really have much to say. Everything in this video were purchased at a price between 10 to 15 dollars so yeah moving on the next item that i found at plato's closet are these leggings that don't really have a paper in it so i don't really know where they're from but these leggings do you see the elastic in the, the this elastic in the back these are the type of leggings that you can pull as far up your crack as you want. If you're one of those people that love pulling your leggings up your crack, I know that's a thing. I know that's a thing somewhere, right? I'm not just making that up. There's a lot of um, girls that work out that pull their leggings up their crack. I feel they need to do the... Because when I think of pulling, I think of... Anyways. um, Yeah. So I usually double my leggings so it defeats the purpose of pulling it up my crack. But they have that kind of uh, V in the front. These leggings are very, very flattering on the booty. If you want to really emphasize your booty, your waist, your body shape. Did that rhyme? I feel like that rhymed. Anyways, they're great. They are very cute. I usually have to double these or I wear these on the upper body day because... <laughs> these are a lot these this legging is a bit much like it's a bit much if you know what i mean but we'll wear those on leg on upper body days not leg days moving on i have two shorts in here that i i think i'd rather talk about last i feel like i'm out of breath the next pair of leggings that i want to talk about are by um, Beyonce the Ivy Park brand I have not wore this to the gym yet but I have wore this twice already um, Ivy Park leggings the waist of these are like so snatched 
but at the same time because the waist are so snatched they really emphasize your full belly you know like this one that we all have that little pouchy pouch so these are the leggings that have like they have like these strings slash rope on the side like so but what i don't understand is why there's like an excess rope at the end i guess i'll probably just cut it and tie it. I, I didn't really know what to do with it and i mean it's beyonce brand i didn't really want to cut it because i felt like i was disrespecting her by cutting it but it's like super long so i'm gonna have to cut it so yeah this is just what it looked like they're a pair of leggings these were a treasure i found like a top from her brand as well at plato's closet but this is not a top video it's a leggings video so we're not going to talk about the top but i found a top and i was so excited these gray and white ones are cute another great one for upper body days i personally love darker light leggings for lower body days because i don't really like being concerned whether or not you can see my crack or my ass so i'll either double my leggings if i am wearing color leggings so i just wear black on legs days or deeper color and then light leggings on upper body days but these are see-through so i specifically wear this on upper body day they go a little bit past your knees and they snatch your waist really nicely i honestly don't know what brand this is it's kind of um faded off that's just what it that just is what it is these are from fabletics or by fabletics so they were kind of a treasure when i found them i think they were a limited edition i'm not sure but that's why you have to love places like the thrift store go check it out these are another ones that kind of have that V at the top that really emphasize your shape and it really um, complements the body, this type of leggings. So go ahead and pull them up your crack if you like. <laughs> and the, the bottom, <laughs> the bottom of these have like the holes on there, like that, just like a cut out design. If I was to criticize this, I know nobody is asking me for my opinion. But I have to say, I wish they were a bit higher and a bit more snatched on the waist. Other than that, these are one of my favorite leggings. They're pretty thick. They're not see. They're not really see-through. I mean, if you hold it up against a light, yes. Well, they are slightly see-through if you're doing squats in them. But they're not bad. And they feel very um, expensive. I mean, they are fabletic. So what I did there, expensive, fabletic. No, that don't run. Cut that out, cut it out. The next pair of leggings that I found are these Split 59. I never really heard of Split 59 prior to these leggings. Um, I love these so much that I went online and I was looking up Split 59, but I think they're an expensive brand and I got these for $10. Um, this is an extra small. They still have everything perfectly written on here. This leggings was in almost like brand new state, but I love the coloring of this. That's why I got it. They are slightly see-through, so you, I kind of usually will double them. I can see you guys almost perfectly clear right now they have a navy blue waistband and the navy blue goes down this far and then it fades into the gray and then when you turn it over it has a black and the black fades into the red so i really like that i and they feel really um snagged like thick they're very thick so i really i really like these leggings i enjoy them i i usually have to double them I usually have to double them on leg day and then moving right along these are champion leggings that I also found that were a treasure the waist are really nice on here they have a whole zipper on the side you could put cash in here 
if you still use regular headphones not judging but you could put them in the side pocket they are leggings I just I like the bottom of them they the bottom of these leggings are nice I like leggings where the bottoms are tight these are just plain they have kind of like a pocket in the back that you can also put I don't get these pocket pockets I really don't is it like if you're going running so you take your key off but not your full key right because my key my key is big big as in like I have a lot of stuff on my keychain like I like collecting stuff on my keychain so it's like you can't put your whole key in here do you put like your ID in here? What What are the purpose of these pockets? Somebody tell me. Because I just feel like they're not practical. Unless you just take your like AirPod case and you put them in here. But aren't they uncomfortable because they like rub on your skin? I don't know if that's a thing. But I just, I really don't find these useful. Just saying. But they're there. If you're one of those people that find it useful. Not judging at all not judging but yeah so all right that's about it i need to go because my head is kind of all over the place i have a lot to do i have to finish my paper i have to edit this video and put it up today good luck with that you guys are probably going to be watching this video late at night if you watch it if you're my loyal subscribers and i will see you guys tomorrow so yeah if you're here don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Thumbs up or thumbs down. And I will catch you guys when I catch you. Stay humble. And Vlogmas Day 5 is officially complete. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> we have no place to go.